Thank you. Deshramastji, so Chris Marlow, thank you for joining Shankarji and I for this evening's uh, Zoom meeting on the 78th Indian Independence Day. Right. Uh, thank you. Pleasure. Very significant. Thank you very much. Um, shall we start this meeting with uh, your recollection? Could we, if we could ask you where you were when you got your realization, your self realization, please, and what was the scenario like? Um, all right, that's a kind of tricky question, actually. <laughs> Not straightforward, unfortunately. No. Um, yeah, I actually, I used to work for a, a friend of mine who had a shop in London. I lived in Somerset. Um, and uh, he had some, uh, a French lady working there called Chantal. And I knew her quite well. And then one day I came back up to London to, to help out in the shop and... Uh, she changed completely. She used to be a bit, you know, like she said, uh, French, you know, les miserables, you know. Um, and suddenly she was all joyful and happy and everything was great, you know. So, and she told me about Sahaja Yoga and she said, you know, there's this lady, she's an incarnation of the Holy Spirit. I went, okay, well, great, yeah, good. So, but she didn't tell me very much actually um, about it. And she never sat me down, actually, and sort of, you know, worked on me or anything like that. But when I went back to Somerset, um, I just started meditating spontaneously. Just sometimes I would just suddenly feel absolutely silent inside, perfectly peaceful and tranquil. <laughs> and uh, I didn't actually realize at the time that it was due to Sahaja Yoga. But it sort of went on for a few months. And... Uh, Eventually, because uh, I, I lived near Glastonbury, yeah? which is like all the seekers in the world go to Glastonbury, and there's all kinds of every kind of thing you can imagine there, you know. But I couldn't find anybody who actually had or was having the same experiences that I was having. So eventually a little voice said, you know, you need to go and find the people who feel the way you do. <laughs> and so I set off sort of on a pilgrimage, packed a rucksack and a guitar, left everything behind, and um, headed off to London, and went back to the shop, to see my friend Randolph, and uh, there was Chantal, and she started telling me again about Sahaja Yoga, you know, this and this, I was going, yeah, this is exactly what I've been experiencing, collective consciousness, you, you can feel how other people feel, you know, inside, by putting your attention on them, and you can change the way they feel by, you know, sort of working on them by, you know, stuff like this. So I realized that uh, here were the people who felt the way I felt. And so I just stayed in London and uh, joined Sajoga. Still there, you know. <laughs> Remind us the time of time of the year and when it okay. was. That, when she told me, it was around uh, I don't know, the middle of the summer of 1982. And she actually said, you should come to this uh, this seminar we're having, you know, in, in, in Gloucestershire. You know, this was Cowley Manor. Yeah. I said, well, I'm, ah. I, don't know anything, I don't know anything about this thing, you know. I mean, I'm, I, don't, I think I'd be a bit out of place because I don't know anything about it, you know. It was probably a good thing because Cowley Manor was an incredibly powerful uh, event. You know, I mean, Shmataji really laid it on the line for the first time that... Uh, Sahaja so Yoga wasn't just about meditating, it was about, you know, devotion to her, and uh, specifically, you know. So, uh, anyway, so I can place it in the fact that it was about a month before Cowley Manor, um, which I think was uh, August, was it August? About yeah. that time. About that time, yeah. Yeah, so then... Uh, so, what was your first... Um, meeting with Sri Mataji, like so, you get your realization, and then you will, you know, you go and attend the seminar. Was that the first time you saw Sri Mataji? No, I didn't attend the cinema. Seminar. <laughs> it's a point. <laughs> yeah, the first okay. time I saw her, like she, she went to India for the winter, you know. So she used to come back around uh, Sahasrara Day or maybe Easter mm. for a time. 
So actually, the first time I actually saw her in person was um, at a public meeting in the uh, in a uh, sort of uh, what was it Hackney Hackney Town Hall or something yes. like that. Yeah. Um, uh -huh. And they they met this they set the stage up with this very nice sort of throne and lots of flowers and stuff on the stage. People were there, and she managed to came in and she completely kind of bypassed all the kind of <laughs> arrangements by walking in, not on the stage but below the stage, and she stood actually with the stage behind her, and sort of did the program. You know, just wearing a plain simple white sari as she always did, you know? and. Uh, so that that what should we say? That was quite impressive for the fact that she, you know, <laughs> cut through all the kind of um, pomp and circumstance. <laughs> yeah. So then everybody, people working on her. I think Victor Bertuni was working on me uh, when you know, because he said new people come to the front, and I thought, well, I'm kind of new because I've never seen her before. So I went up to the front, and uh, I got worked on. And she, uh, yeah, she pointed out to people like what their problems were. So, like to Victor, she's going to shoot. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Work on this. What time? Right. What 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 time? And what was the time frame of your the session that you had with Srimadji at this public program? Is it 83, 1983? Yeah, it was around uh, May nineteen eighty three. I think April. April, April 1983, yeah. Okay, fantastic. So, yeah, it was quite nice. At the end of the program, uh, I, I brought a flower because, you know, we all brought flowers. But uh, my usual stance is always to stand at the back of everything, partly because I'm, you know, a few inches taller than everybody else. So <laughs> I'm always embarrassed if I'm at the front because I think nobody else can see anything. You know? So I'm standing at the back and there's a big crush around Shumatiji. So I think, well, there's no way I'm going to get to see her with my flower, you know. <laughs> so I'm just standing there. And Shrataji actually, she said, what about that gentleman, you know? Did he feel anything? And she pointed at me. Mm -hmm. And it's like the, the crowd parted and there was this like corridor. Shrataji was sitting there and it was me with my flower. So I walked up, gave her the flower. And <laughs> she said, did you feel anything? <laughs> Which was a bit tricky because I used to feel a lot actually, but actually at that meeting in her presence, I actually didn't feel anything. That's because my bashudi, that's the vibrations were blocking on my bashudi or something. So I sort of said, "Well, uh, yes, felt something." Yeah, she went, "Okay, fine." <laughs> yeah, so that was the first uh, time. Yeah, but um, yeah. I mean, I think I moved into my first ashram so after about three quite... months, you know, which, um, which was in uh, was in Queens Park. Um, there was a lot of young men there, or they all about eighteen, including sort of Victor and uh, Ian Crawford and Daryl and um, I don't know, sort of, uh, Paul Duncan, people like this, and they they were all musicians, yeah. So, you know, at, uh -huh. uh, uh, after dinner, they'd all kind Very of eat dinner and then get up and go next door and start playing <laughs> playing music. So I did a lot of washing up. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, I was the old guy. I was 30 years old, you know. And they were all about 18 or 20. You know. <laughs> so... Uh, anyway, I mean, you've lived in ashrams with young men. You know that they're not very, you know... Not very well trained in the domestic <laughs> arts. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, hmm. so those were the exceptional times where Shramatji would spend so much personal time with the Sahaj Yogis as well as keeping up with the very busy social diary of CP hosting and attending various functions.